This is the opening screen of our Materials and Their Properties title, which is part of the Forwards with Science series designed for Key Stage 2 age group or ability range, with some of the screens being suitable for younger and indeed older pupils. Materials and Their Properties runs on Textives, and that means that you need Textives on the computer in order to view these screens. So here we are, the opening screen. We can click on any of these buttons to open an activity, or we can click on that button to open the first activity. Thinking about materials, this is a mind activity. And um, before I explain any more about the activity itself, let's have a look at the taskbar. This is movable, it doesn't print, and here we can add more information to the screen. The arrows predictably take us backwards and forwards. That is the full menu button. We can open any one of these by clicking on the hotspots. And if we go back to where we were, uh, that is the task button suggesting what we should do. And if we follow the instructions there, we can colour the individual cells here uh, to make the table more interesting. That is the support button, which will give us some information. And in this particular case, it isn't related to the screen, but to materials in general. And here you can get a little bit more information about solids, liquids and gases. Here you have um, materials, once again, solids, liquids and gases, and we can go from one to the other there and find out a little bit more about all three. That's the information button. That is the resource button. In this case, we have got a few ideas here that we can use. Um, we could add those to the screen or we can type our own ideas there. So that's thinking about materials. And here we have facts about materials, more facts about materials, open-ended screen that we can add information to. And that, incidentally, is an open-ended activity with the same taskbar as before. And here, solids, liquids, gases. We'll just go through a few and we'll come to this one here, the water cycle. And there we are. We can add to the screen. We can finish it off. We can look here to find out what we should be doing there. And we can find more information here. There we can go the importance of water. And something we don't think about often enough is the importance of water vapour as opposed to water. And there we go, soil profiles, soil under the microscope. We can put the uh, dead organisms there and there's a few of those. We can have the small pieces up here and so on. And here, soil creatures, are they friends or foe to the gardener? Investigating soil drainage, we've got one here, for instance, and being able to make a graph and the effect of particle size, recognizing rocks and stones and more information there about the difference rocks and stones, and um, types of rocks, quite a few different things there. Uh, we could go to this activity, that's a grouping materials activity. We've got many examples here, and we can sort them according to their properties or the materials they're made from. We could go to that one, uh, separating materials. I think you can use the um, riddle to do that. So if I go on there and we can see whether we can do so. So we've used the sieve or the riddle to do that. And here we have a mind activity on separating materials with further information there and some ideas there, things that you could put in there and a further one there. And once again, another one there. And in this instance, what you're doing is adding to the diagram in order to complete it. And uh, let's see if there's anything else that we can take from here. Um, changing materials, separating, recycling materials, that was quite a good one to use. So here we are, we have recycling and different screens on there. What you're thinking about there is what can go into the, each one. Here we're designing stacking wheeling, wheelie bins and as you can see January 2012, two counties in Wales to trial stacking wheelie bins and what the children can do there is to stack them and maybe change the, the size of them and the depth. And uh, then we can go out of there, we can go to this one, another way of recycling materials. And that's just a few screens from materials and their properties. This is a short uh, presentation. For the full presentation, see our website and you get more information about at this title, materials and their properties, which is part of the Forwards with Science series.